Hey peeps, welcome back to my channel and to a new iOS series, which is only two episodes long. The first episode is going to be about how to set up a navigation and tab bar controller. So let's have a look. We have a navigation controller for each view controller, for the one that is holding a table view, and we have a tab bar controller where we can switch between two different view controllers that are both having navigation controllers as they parent. And in the second episode, we're going to learn how to implement settings. For example, if you want to display a detail cell, you can toggle it on and off. And if you toggle it on, you will see that each digit destined is having now its or his uh, digit one. And uh, if we even close the app and reopen the app, we will see that the settings are stored and still in use. And if we toggle it off and do the same process, close and open, then indeed they are toggled off. So let's dive right into it and create a new Xcode project. So we're going to create a single view application and call it, for example, Digital Monsters, because that's what Digimon stands for. And we are creating it on the desktop for me at least. Let's align it a little bit like that. Uh, no, with a little space, yeah, like that. Okay, cool. First thing I always do is uh, deleting the main storyboard. If you are not familiar with how to delete the main st storyboard and how to set up your uh, app purely in code, link is in the description for the episode where I explain it in more detail. I will not go into details here because the focus is something different. All right, so inside our app delegate, we are going to create a new window, right? So UI window and then frame, UI screen, main bounds. All right, we have our, well, let's rename our view controller to digitus time view control because that's what it's going to be at the end. So digitus time view controller, just like that. We can also remove the whole code here and just implement the override of load view because good practice is to have a uh, load view used if you want to set up your views and have a red background for that view controller. If you have problems that Xcode is showing a red uh, file here after renaming or Xcode is not running after you renamed it, check your file system in Finder inside this project. Xcode sometimes messes with you. So you just have to rename it on your file system to the same name as in the Xcode project and then it will work again. All right, let's have digitest tined VC instantiated just like that and have the root view controller uh, to be digitestined our instance and make it make it invisible. So far so good, right? So if our app runs now, the first thing that gets uh, opened and displayed is our view controller with our red background. Awesome, so far so good. Let's put a little, little bit spacing in here. So the first thing we want to do is implement a navigation for our view controller. And that is super simple. All you have to do is for each view controller you want to, we want a navigation to display, uh, you will have to create a new instance of UI navigation controller and pass in the view controller. Let's do it. So we have a digital destined ANSI for navigation controller. I just shortened it for, for that. Maybe it's not the best name because it's just a VC and ANSI difference for readability, but let's go for go with that for now and have a new instance of navigation controller and pass in the root view controller for that navigation controller, which will be our view controller digitest tined. So what we are doing is we are creating a UI navigation controller that is holding a direct child of our view controller. And now we can, for example, pass as the root view controller to launch when the app is launched, uh, we can use the navigation controller so that the app launches and it shows the navigation controller that is holding the view controller. So as you can see, you see the navigation with the new uh, the view controller, but we don't have a navigation title. So where do, we, where do we set that? Every UI view controller is also having a property called uh, navigation item and then dot title. Now you can get a little bit confused which instance like Navigation control is also uh, inheriting from UI view controller. Therefore, navigation control is also, uh, if we look it up, having a navigation uh, item dot uh, title. But if we're going, if we're going with that, that's not going to work. Digital does tined. 
And now why is that not going to work? It kind of feels intuitive. Well, we have the navigation controller. Why if we set the title to it, is it not displayed? Because the navigation controller will always look or the, um, yeah, will always look to its direct child and then the property of that direct child for its title. So that means we will have to set the navigation item title not to the navigation controller itself, but to its direct child, which is the DigiDestined uh, view controller. So let's do that. And if we rerun the app now, we can see that the navigation title indeed appears. There we go. That is the cache you will have to keep in mind. We will get to that uh, later on. Let's actually <laughs> close that on the right side. And let's do the same for settings view controller, right? So let's create a new file and call it, uh, let's create a new Swift file and call it settings VC and import UI kit having a class settings VC inherit from UI view controller and also implement load view. Don't forget the super load view because if you forget that your app will crash at some point. Uh, it's a it's something that happens to me sometimes. All right, so the view gets a background of green so we can differentiate both views properly. Let's move it up here so it's just underneath the DigiDestined VC and let's implement it here just as we did with DigiDestined VC. So settings VC is an instance of who would have guessed settings VC? And let's give it as well a uh, settings VC navigation item title because we are going to uh, instantiate another UA navigation controller that is having a settings VC as its direct child. So settings and then have our settings NC be a U new UI navigation controller and pass in the settings VC just like that. And now let's have a look. Let's replace the DigiDestined navigation controller with the settings navigation controller as the root controller. And let's launch that and see that it works. And we see background is green. We see the title is settings. Okay, cool. Now we have two views with two navigation controller as they parent. How do we actually implement it that we can switch between these both views? For example, using a tab bar controller, right? That's what we are here for. Let's do it. It's super simple. I love how simple it is. You will love it too. So all we have to do is make an instance of tab bar controller and who would have guessed it's a UI tab bar controller, just like that. And now that tab bar controller is having a property called view controllers and you will pass over an array of view controllers that you want to be displayed in the tab bar, right? And since navigation controller is inheriting from view controller, we can use our navigation controllers because that's what we want to use. We don't want to use the view controllers because if we display the view controllers, when we tap on a tap, we don't have the navigation, right? If we are displaying it right away, that instance, we, we, we really want to display the navigation controller that is holding the view controller. So it's a little bit uh, like thinking about uh, thinking around the corner, I think you can you can name it like that. So we are using DigiDestined NC and settings NC. The order here defines the order in the tabs. And then we are using the tab bar controller as the root controller so that the app launches, the tab bar controller is launched, which is holding two navigation controllers, which are holding two view controllers. So everything is launched and then we can use the tab bar to switch between both views. Let's have a look. We will see that there is a tab bar controller, but without titles, without namings. The functionality, however, is given. We just don't see it. We can switch between two views right now. So we can switch between them. That's awesome already. Now let's get back to how to set titles. I have mentioned that we want to set the title um, of the parent controller in its direct child, which is for the tab bar controller, its direct child, is either uh, the navigation controller for DigiDestined digi or the uh, settings navigation controller. And so that the, those are the direct childs of the tab bar controller. And so we are setting for the tab bar the title. Um, we are setting the title on the DigiDestined navigation controller. Tab bar item and then just, whoops, title, not that one. 
by that one and then call it digit destined for example tab let's call it like that so we can distinguish it so you can understand that there is a uh, difference so uh, same goes for this one tab bar item title and settings tab just like that and now if we run it we will see there is a tab for digitistine and there is a tab for settings and that is how you implement navigation controls for your view controls tab bar controller for your whole app and actually make it work if that video was of any help you can let me know by hitting like and if you have any feedback or topic suggestions even you can let me know in the comment section don't hesitate don't forget to check out the description box for my patreon link to support me doing youtube full-time and multiple times a week and also to download every source code from every video if you select the right tier you can also find my social media links to come on over on instagram and let's have a chat you're free to do whatever you want you can also subscribe to not miss out on future episodes on that series and every upcoming series at some point we will even do game development so that could be interesting and i'm also doing live streams every uh, few days on my current side project that i'm working on so you can just join the live stream code on your project i'm coding on my project we have a chat and listen to music it's a pretty cool atmosphere i hope i see you in the next one and bye